The Victorian opposition has made another pitch to ease the cost for, of living for voters. On day two of the state election campaign, Julia Bradley is following the coalition in Melbourne's east. Julia, what's the party announced today? Well, Ash, Matthew Guy, the opposition leader, and Shadow Health Minister Georgie Crozier, they were out in Doncaster East this morning. They were visiting a family dental practice to make another cost of living announcement. So they say that if they're elected on November the 26th, they want to halve the elective emergency wait list for dental, which is currently sitting at 64,000 people. They say they'd do this by offering people on that public wait list $500 vouchers that they could then put towards a private appointment instead. So they say that this is a modest measure, but it is a necessary one. So this would be an application process. And they say that that $500 figure is based on advice from the Australian Dental Association. It would be first come, first serve when it reaches that halfway mark on the elective wait list. They also say they want to invest $50 million in the dental health system here in Victoria over the next four years. This is a sensible, realistic way of trying to fix a dental problem in Victoria that's real and that's hurting a lot of people. Hurting a lot of people. We've got to do something and something's better than nothing. So this adds to a string of cost of living announcements that the opposition has already made. Yesterday, of course, it was all about how to lower water bills for families. We've also heard the coalition pitch to make public transport cheaper for Victorians and also to provide free school lunches for students. I'm told that Matthew Guy will also be out in two hotly contested electorates this afternoon. He'll firstly be in Kew, which is in the southeast of Melbourne. It's a marginal Liberal held seat and it is under threat from a Teal Independent. That seat, of course, crossing over with the federal electorate of Kuyong, which was won by a Teal back in May. Also the seat of Box Hill, which is in Melbourne's east. That is a Labor-held seat, but one that the Liberals believe that they could potentially win back, Ash. Julia Bradley with the very latest on the campaign trail. I appreciate the update. Thank you.